Welcome everybody to this unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. So I've got a lot of goodies here. We're going to start with all of the extra accessories first. I've got the main attraction right here with Breath of the Wild on top. And we're going to save that for last though. So we're going to go ahead and open up first this case that I bought from Walmart. And it's an official uh, Breath of the Wild case from Nintendo. So... We'll go ahead and it's actually the Game Travelers uh, Traveler Deluxe Traveler case or travel case. Yeah, repetitive a little bit much. I can't read right now, so I'm just way too freaking hyped. Um, if any of you guys got a switch today, and let me know down in the comment section below. Um, and while I'm at it. If you guys would, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I'm going to do that all at the end as well, but I thought I would go ahead and put it in there now. Oh, it looks like we've got a little tab right there. Let me cut that off so I can open this up and show this to you guys. Let's see here. All right, so this is the inside of it. got some foam it also comes with uh, some carrying cases for the cartridges and it also comes with uh, some carrying cases for the SD cards so we get two of these get one here we get one here so it can hold up to what eight yeah I guess there's just a, oh, that might be for the SD card. I'm not too sure. So you get two cases. Yeah. Okay. So these smaller ones are for the SD cards. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right. And there's not really much else to this case other than, you know, you can fit your switch inside completely protected this is the first time i've opened all of this stuff so the excitement is real right now um okay so what else should we move on to now that we've gotten that out of the way let me get this situated over here okay that's out of the way all right so we've got the screen protector i'm not going to go ahead and open that now because i'm going to put it on right after i unbox this thing i'm not trying to get any fingerprints on my switch so Let's go ahead and do the uh, Pro Controller. I went and picked this up at my local Walmart uh, early this morning. So if any of you were lucky enough to get a Pro Controller, good for you. These things sold out pretty fast. So, And I did notice that they did have some switches available still over at Walmart. So if any of you guys didn't have a chance to get a switch, they may still have some. But that was way early this morning. Probably about 6 o'clock. It's 5 now. I've waited a while for this. Freaking UPS took forever. But anyways. If I could ever get this box open. Come on. There we go. Alright. So inside we get the USB charging port. Sorry the camera is a little bit off there. But I hope you guys can see all of that. And... The main attraction for this box, the Pro Controller. This thing's pretty nice. Um, it feels pretty good. Feels better than, honestly, my PS4 controller. It fits in my hand a lot better. The back buttons aren't too bad. The triggers, they're not too horrible. And the analog sticks are great. The D-pad's awesome, you know. Pretty straightforward pro controller. I definitely recommend picking one of these up if you have bigger hands like myself. Uh, it, it's definitely going to come in handy because those Joy-Cons are pretty small from what I've seen. We're going to see it right now in my big giant monster hands. So here we go. That is the pro controller. Let's move on here. Okay, we'll go ahead and open these up. These are the Joy-Con Gel Guards, and it also comes with a pair of uh, st stick covers. So let's go over here. I think I have some for my PS4, and I'm hoping that they fit on my Pro Controller. But 
it might not hold on Get this open with this janky box cutter that i have okay all right this is pretty pretty straightforward these just go on top of the the thumbstick so then you don't wear it out i've had that happen on my ps4 i'm hoping that my pro controller doesn't end up doing it hopefully these fit on pretty well i wanted to go with a more like a flat color because i didn't want to have something distracting my eyes if i was going to use the joy cons but these are the gray ones right here let's get them the right way right there okay so now that those are out of the way let's move on you guys can see that i do have the hardcover guide strategy guide for breath of the wild here we'll go ahead and open it up i'm not going to show it all to you guys but i'll show you the front and back artwork and then i'll maybe show you the front page or something like that but this is basically just to help me make more structured videos in the long run and for my collection oh what do we get back here uh just a description of what's inside this thing is chocked full of content. Oh, what's this? Is this a... This is a map. We get the European box art cover there. Which, it, it's still a great piece of artwork. I, I, I personally like the American one a little bit better. Oh, we do get a map. I won't be able to show you this fully on screen, but I will be hanging this up in my room. So, when I do do a face cam or face cam footage you guys will see this next time up on my wall right behind me so this is the front of the book the first page there we get the nice breath of the wild logo and the index oh man this is just gonna be freaking awesome i mean this is just a few pages i'm not gonna show everything because i don't want to give away any spoilers if there are any in the book i know there aren't any story I believe spoilers but anyways that is the collector's guide not the uh, Sheikah I one but the hardcover so we'll go ahead and put this over to the side all right next up we have the link rider amiibo I was only able to pick up two I wanted to get three but I'd already spent 600 on my switch so I mean that was cutting it a little close with how much I was spending. It was just a little too much for me. So I did get a lot though. So I am pretty happy. All right. So after these, we will be unboxing the Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and get that out. Sorry if that was a little loud. I like to collect these boxes. Probably gonna end up throwing those away though. So this, this one's pretty darn detailed. See if you guys can go ahead and focus the camera a little bit better on that. My hand's not really doing any justice there. But, I mean, even the back of it's got so much detail. These Breath of the Wild Amiibo are crazy insane with detail. Oh, Link doesn't have a face. That That's something to note uh, on this one. I don't know if you can see that, but Link doesn't have a face at all. But these are pretty detailed. I believe I, I don't know what comes in this one so you guys will have to tune into the live stream that's happening right after this and we'll figure out exactly what we get with the amiibo that i have i have most of the zelda amiibo uh and two of the breath of the wild amiibo so we'll go ahead and see you know exactly what they do so now we have the bokoblin amiibo let me go ahead and get it out of the box here come on big guy or little guy want to open that switch up i'm like dying i'm burning inside right now okay so we've got the bokoblin amiibo he's pretty cool he's detailed i i wanted to go with something a little bit different i couldn't find the guardian uh, i wanted to get zelda as well because i know you can get something cool from that one but i ended up not being able to get it most of them were pre-ordered <laughs> he's got like a loincloth on and you can see his little necklace and everything holding the club pretty cool pretty pretty detailed pretty cool so these are the two amiibo and we'll go ahead and go and show everything one more time so these are the two amiibo right here and then what else do we have we got the strategy guide right there 
we got our case and we got a screen protector the USB charger for the pro controller the gel grips which I highly recommend getting all of this stuff because you don't want to drop your switch. I saw a drop test on it earlier today. It survives pretty well. But those are the jail guards. These are the cases for your, your games and your SD cards. And last but certainly not least is the Pro Controller there. Alright, so we'll move all of this stuff. Now we're going to get to the main attraction. Okay, here we go. We've got the Nintendo Switch. Man, I am so stoked for this. I am so stoked for this. And here's Breath of the Wild right next to it. I can't wait to boot this game up. I got the DLC too, by the way. And, alright, we're going to start with Breath of the Wild. I'm going to open this up first. I'm trying to save that Switch thing for last. Alright. So, you guys can see the uh, artwork on the back of the box. And all that. It, it is very small. I mean, this is really small. This is comparable to a PSP uh, case, something like that. There's the box art cover inside. And we've got the game. This thing is so tiny, man. Let me see. I've actually got a 3DS cartridge right now to compare it with. Alright, so this is... Super Mario 64 DS, and this is Breath of the Wild right next to it. That is insane. Like, that is crazy. Breath of the Wild fits on this little tiny thing, and there's a DS cartridge that's way bigger than it. I mean, this is an SD card. Compared to it, it's a little bit smaller than this SD card right here. Not, not by much, but it's a little bit smaller there. So, all right, now that that's out of the way, there's not much to say about the box here. They don't really include anything with it, but that's, that's it. I wasn't lucky enough to get the limited or master edition, but whatever. No, enough griping and moaning about that. Let's, let's get into this sexy beast. Oh man. Okay. So right here, I'm sure many of you guys have seen this already. But right here, it just shows you the instructions of turning it on and all that type of stuff. I'm not going to film that. I'm just going to have you guys join me on my live stream right after this. Just have to plug that one more time and I'll plug it again at the end of the video. But, okay, we've opened the box. Here we have the Switch. This thing is tiny. Wow. This is the console right here. This is it. This thing is tiny. I don't want to get any fingerprint fingerprints on the screen but I'll go ahead and show it to you guys so this is the top of the unit right here you can see the fan and then we got the SD card slot right here uh, I'm not gonna bother opening it up you guys have probably seen it many times if you are watching this video you probably watched some earlier this week you got the power button right here the volume rockers and then uh, the audio port for your headphones and then if we go ahead and turn it upside down we have the charging port and that's about it for that side of it and then you can put the two joy cons slide them right in on the sides and then for the back we have the kickstand right here and I'll go ahead and open that up kickstand opens up like so and these are noted to uh, break off but they do come back on pretty easily I've heard you know you might forget and slide this into the dock and everything like that but anyways the SD card can be placed right here and that's about it for the actual switch itself this is the switch really really small I mean compared to my big old hands I wish I had my phone up here right now, but I don't. I mean, this is the Breath of the Wild case. It is smaller than the case. <laughs> Just by a little bit, so. Alright, so that's the Switch. Now let's go ahead and look at these Joy-Cons. I've been wanting to get my big old paws on these things and see how they feel. Woo! They feel exactly how I imagined they would feel. 
They really do. They're not bad at all. There is a little bit like these are just first initial impressions from, you know, opening it right now. The analog sticks don't have a very far like reach, but I mean, that's really it. They're not that bad into play them like this. I don't feel like it would be too horrible. They're freaking tiny though. I mean, like, look at these. They're so tiny. I love the gray. I really do. It's really simplistic and everything. The um, the red and the blue one just distracts from the eye. And the triggers are actually pretty good. I, I, I don't know how I feel about them yet. I'll let you guys know how that all goes. And I'll let you guys know if there's any desyncing issues or anything like that later on. I'm going to be using the Pro Controller today just to play it safe. but And to let these charge as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and get more into this box here. And we'll go ahead and slide those joy cons on and i'll show you guys all that type of stuff so we got the hdmi you guys seen plenty of those before we've got the power cords just really simple here is the joy con grip oh yeah that thing's nice feels a little small comparable to like a gamecube controller i've heard and holding it in my hands that that's kind of what it feels like it's it's pretty small i mean it's nothing compared to the pro controller which is a lot bigger in comparison there's just a lot more meat on that pro controller compared to the joy con grip and this one doesn't charge them so you if you just have joy cons you may want to go out and get a joy con charging grip either way though the joy cons have a pretty long battery life so all right, so in here we have the bumpers that you can place on and the straps and everything so you can actually add to your Joy-Con. Sorry, I wasn't in the camera shot right there. But you can slide these on to the Joy-Cons and everything and then you have added functionality there and a little bit more grip to the Joy-Cons themselves. And it replaces these tiny buttons up here. So those are pretty cool. That's basically it though, other than that, We've got everything in this box. Oh, no, wait. We forgot the dock. We forgot the dock. I'm going to show you how small this thing is. This thing is really small. I know <laughs> IGN was complaining. Let's go ahead and move this box. I believe it was IGN. Was complaining how you can't dock the system sideways. Like, not, not standing up like this. You know, standing up like this. It's it's pretty snug in there. I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to dock your console like this. That 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 works just fine. You know, you're going to have a problem sliding the Joy-Cons off. Because I know that the problem was is that they were talking about this piece up here. It's a little ridiculous that they rated the Switch like that. But anyways... <laughs> Getting out of that and in more into the dock, we've got the back here. This is where your HDMI goes, your power port, and all that stuff. There's a USB back there as well. Looks like USB 3.0. It's blue. Uh, they could have just painted it blue. But it does look like USB 3.0. And I believe there's two more USB docks right up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I've been wanting to do this really, really bad. For the longest time I've been wanting to do this. Boom. Oh man, that is so cool. That is awesome. But all right, guys, that is my unboxing of the Nintendo Switch and all of the accessories that I got today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a comment and like, subscribe, you know, do all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, join me on my live stream starting like probably 30 minutes after this video posts. Anyways, you guys all have a good one. Peace out.